Well, hey there, Brewberries, and what's up, and welcome to another episode of No Man's Sky. We're back, and we are here, back in our world, but we're not going to be here very long, because today, I want to jump right into things we are going to be tackling. Not this. Wait. Nope. Never mind. That requires two wiring looms, which is just expansive. Um, I also, I've kind of learned this ionized cobalt is not... Not that difficult to get, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Let's put cobalt into the... Do I wait? Do I have my cobalt in here? I have quite a bit of cobalt because I just randomly decided to... Ain't it? Uh, starship. Yeah, cobalt. So if we... Uh, trans... Oh, I keep looking at... There we go. If we put this into the refiner, does that make the cobalt... Uh, cobalt, where did you go? There you are. Yeah, ionized cobalt. So I'm going to make all of this. And the reason for it is because ionized cobalt sells for quite a bit. And cry me, portable refiner, you you be a loud boy. Uh, yeah, ionized cobalt sells for quite a bit. 400 units each. And I thought that would be a good way. We're not really using cobalt right now, and it's used really just to make it looks like just advanced ion batteries, which is uh, fine, but I don't, it's not something we need right now. And this planet has cobalt on it uh, in the caves. You can uh, destroy some of the like stalactite things, and that's how you get cobalt. Oh, I should have split this, shouldn't I? Eh, it's only got a minute left. Nomad, uh, travel to 40. AS. I don't know what KS is, but today what we're going to be doing, last episode, we went and we actually got our Starship technology, the hyperdrive, not the warp drive, the hyper, well, it is a warp drive. So we got the warp drive, hyperdrive, doohickey made, and it's all nice and charged up, or at least 60% charged, and uh, this guy's also charging 85% just because we aren't using it. Oh, it's so good. And last episode, we got this guy made and ready to go. And so we're not going to do that today because what I would like to do is I would like to do all of this. I want to, I don't know how long this will take me, but we have planetary charts here that I would love to be able to tackle because we've got this regular old like planetary chart with a secure site of interest. This one that has a distress, distress signal. We've got one with an inhabited outpost, and then we have one with a settlement chart or about. Well, so we have seven of these, five of these, two of these, two of these. So I, I just kind of want to explore and do that. And I think that could be really great. Whoa, you made me go so high. OK, let's grab our, our cobalt. Not that it really matters now, but uh, that's OK. So now we've got how much how much does that say this is worth? 155,000 like to me that seems like a pretty at least early game pretty early good source of income it's not like a crazy amount of money but it's not bad so let's get to our exosuit and let's just go ahead and do this It was detected. Oop. Where is it? There it is. Okay, so we're going to go that way. And one of you also mentioned to go inside the ship when flying around uh, because of the radar that's in the front there that you can actually see stuff, which I honestly did not know. Okay, well, the game just crashed. I'm not really sure why it crashed, but uh, let's, I guess, try that again. And see, let's see first how far away this is. Four hours. Okay. So let's just get on up into space. And I don't know why, but my mouse has been kind of acting strange when flying like this. I could also, I haven't played this game in just a little bit. Let's get there and hold the tag and let's get going. This game is 
Absolutely. So fun. All right, let's get in. Reposition ourselves a little bit so we're not so cockeyed. And also, let's hope that the game does not crash. <laughs> because I don't know what that, why that was like that. Because I haven't had the game crash at all. Oh, we've got a one of these guys. Oh, very cool. Nice. Awesome. Also, I, um, you know, the we went and got absolutely wrecked by those bad guys. And what are you? I haven't identified you yet. We got wrecked by those bad guys last episode and uh, was kind of sad because I, I didn't know what in the world they were. So I went back there to get a screenshot because I was too frazzled to figure out like What the freak are you? What is this? Hold up, hold up. What in the guide? Sentinels. Robotic entities that guard most worlds. Harvesting resources in view of the Sentinels will cause them to turn hostile. Harvesting some resources, such as gravitational balls, will immediately alert them. May approach you and scan you or any resources you recently harvested. Avoid harvesting or attacking non-hostile creatures while being watched. Some worlds most host extremely hostile Sentinels. Those drones will attack on sight. Pay attention to the planet information learned Sentinel status. The security level at the top right of the HUD shows the current Sentinel status. So me shooting it probably was not the good decision. This will increase as you fight Sentinels. Eliminate Sentinel drones quickly when attack, when attack to avoid, when attacked to avoid more powerful Sentinels being summoned. Destroying Sentinel drones is a good source of exotic materials. Okay. Well. Well, this guy is a bad boy. Nice. Oh, I have to find that. Oh, no, I don't want to. Oh, geez. Well, I'm going to go in here. Holy balls. Ah. All right, you want a piece of me? Do you really want a piece of me, bro? don't really want to deal with these guys like what's going on why are you here why are you guys deal like attacking me bro sentinels searching where are they searching i need to be on the thir third person to see this so they down there this is so weird because I don't understand. 
Wait, I don't want to. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Hmm. Well, there's only one sentinel. It would seem like. Hit the don't 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 hit the ground. Don't hit the ground. Weird. Are they? Are they gone? Destroy five sentinel. Oop, wrong thing. Weird. Defensive system. Hide combat. I combat. Uh, turn. Defensive system. Damage received while on foot will first deplete your shield. Your shield re will recharge over time. Take cover and avoid taking damage while the shield is low. Damage taken while shields are down will damage your health. Purchase plans for a personal force field at a technology merchant. This is a powerful combat shield deployed from the multi-tool exosuit defensive and life support systems can be upgraded. We're going to go in. Well, it seems to be a little bit upset. Alarms blare sounding out against my intrusion. The facility is remotely operated and no one responds to the Klaxon's call. The terminal indicates the facility was undertaking a specialized piece of research. The terminal appears to be asking for manual confirmation of its experiment. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here, hold on. Let's get some, uh, let's go get some carbon. You're not carbon. You're carbon. Could be enough. Uh, we'll insert carbon. Tap a few commands into the terminal, opening its input hopper. I insert some carbon from my exosuit. There's a pause, then a rumble. Fire belches from the hopper. Smoke seeps from the terminal keyboard. The entire system shuts down. Oh, decreased. Rude. Well, we'll get that. I don't really know what was going on. Take the nanites. And then I guess we got the first aid. Interesting. So this shuts, this is shut down. Okay. Well, this is going to be a, a fun episode if that keeps happening. Uh, that was like our first true blue combat. So that was cool. Uh, let's go ahead and get another one. So this is another secure. Oh, it's a secure site. So that's that is why. Oh, let's do a distress signal. Distress signal. Where you at? All the way over here. There you are. Oh, super far away. One hour. 
I really like how it actually like tells you how long it's going to take to get to a place because it's like actually like Oh, is this going to wait? Traveling up above takes so little time. I also really love the light system in this game because of how much it like affects you. Like you can fly to the dark side of a planet and you can fly to the light side and it, at the same exact time. And so it's like you never actually have like a day night cycle because you're constantly interacting with both. It's just very, very cool. Distress signal. Let's see. Let's uh, down here. I'm glad those sentinels were. Uh... Wait. I've already been here. Wait. This is where my ship was. Well, I guess I can pick up my portable refiner this time. All right, well, this was a waste because we already found uh, our hunk of junk initiator here. That's okay. Did we check? Did I check these? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, onwards to the next one. Ooh. Into the ship. And let's do another distress signal since that one didn't work out. Let's go to this abandoned building. I hope there are... Actually, I don't really, don't really mind if there are Sentinels because that was actually kind of fun. Now I want to upgrade the... Is there a parking spot? We'll just park right here. Now I really want to go get like a better weapon because our, our you know, our, our pistol's great and all. But it's not that great. Did we already come here? Nope. Oh, this has the, uh, the goop stuff. Okay, so, uh, don't harvest the eggs. That's what I have learned. Let's take the residual goop. Returning user identified. Terminal now active. Unlocking data log. Continuation. Continuing for... I don't know. I found a body. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. If there's a species like it, then I hope they're all dead like this one. At first, I thought it's some tragic remnant of a matter transferred tech malfunction. Cage of bones and flesh studded with random patterns of crooked teeth and roomy lidless eyes. But no. Some horror of twisted evolution warped by cruel nature. Well, that sound effect was weird. I can't help but picture what it would be like, would have looked like alive. I cannot help but fear that it will live again. Data log. Something coated deep inside the long dead traveler's log. Something has been left that will aid me on my journey. Oh, just some nanites said it. Yep, and then that closed. Okay. Um, go in here. Hello. In here. I don't like all the, all the, squishy sound effect. I don't know. I forgot. Have totally forgotten what uh, we got from that. But cool beans. Okay, let's go. Let's do another. Maybe another um, distress signal. Oh yeah, I love that the launch thrusters just recharge themselves. Observatory, where's that at? This way. Oh, it's not even that far away. Three minutes. Ah, one of these again. So this, whoa. This door, that door wasn't open before. The, do this, but yeah, this wasn't open before. Atlas Pass two, gosh darn. Okay, so this one requires an Atlas Pass. 
Stand at the terminal and watch a beacon from an unknown star endlessly play itself out on the screen. The pattern seems clear, but what to, what to enter? 2738 and then 7382 and then 3827. Oh, I see. So it's 2738 and then it kind of like shifts over and this item goes to the back. So then it's 738 two and then three eight two seven and then eight two seven three i discover a location within the distant stars whoa signal detected Here he is. Ancient ruin that's off planet. Oh, that's not the door. This is. Interesting. Okay, so where... I wonder how far away that is, because I'm willing to go there, but... Don't really know how far away it is. Okay, it says it all, it's off planet. Let's, let's explore for a moment. Let's see. Okay, so it's a, it's on uh, the, what do we call it? Paradisama, I think. It's a, this is a Paradisama. This is where we went last time. But it's an ancient ruin, which I think last time I found this type of thing, this ancient ruin, it was, I think this is where the portal was last time. Okay, this is definitely not at all what I was initially thinking. Yeah, this is way different. I don't know what in the world this is. This is cool. I want to build in this style. If I could build this, then we could actually do some, like, legitimate... Some actually, like, legitimate, almost castle-y things. That could be cool. All right, flower. Ooh, get on up there. There you go. Knowledge stone. Fascinating. Okay, nothing in there. Yeah, I really actually like this. This is a really cool, cool style. Whoa, okay, so yeah, this is... Uh, oh, dude, this is gonna give us... This is giving us tons of Corvax words. Nice. We're gonna be daggum fluent in this if we uh, keep this up. That's kind of cool. That. Nothing. Yeah, this is really cool. Why is that ball just rolling around? Orvax plat. The ancient marker hums at a frequency that burrows deep into my be being, filling me with the voices of the Corvax echoes. Knowledge paves the way to the understanding of probability. The atlas spoken fragments the atlas. Interfaces are their shadows. The monoliths are their scattered children. Together they convey wisdom of the infinite. They must be understood. Seek help with language. Seek knowledge of the past. Oof. Um. Do knowledge of the past. Yeah. Historical data review. Whoa. Over there. Interesting. Okay, can't break those. Got it. What are you? You're just a ball that I can play around with. Can I put you back on your pedestal? Got it. Oh, no. No, come on. Come on back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, you got this. I believe. I believe. Believe. Oh, no. Too far. All right, let's go check out whatever in the world this guy is. Not really much of a ancient ruin kind of just like a 
tiny blob of nothing. Oh, what is that? Red snake. Is there anything in this? Doesn't really look like it. Anything here? There's a purple orb thing that looks like up there. Then there's whatever that is. That looks kind of a oh, gravitino ball. Oh. Okay, we'll take a grab at holy balls, I don't want you. Yes, Sentinels, go away. Ain't nobody wants you. Oh, they're closing in. Too bad, bros. I'm in a ship. Hee hee hee. Where are they? Oh, I can't really see them at all. Wrecked, bro. Really don't know where the sentinels are. What is that two star thing? What is that? Whoa. I don't know why I didn't think to do this, but this is sick. You can uncover ruins. Artifact. Gosh darn it. Ancient key. Key of some weight. This aged piece of raw iron must belong in a nearby lock. Whoa. Oh, anything else further down this way or no? Okay, so that's the end of that. A nearby lock. But let's dig around here and see what this is all about. Okay, yeah, so there's some stuff down here. How deep does this go? Keeps going a little bit, but that's ooh, 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 ooh. another one of these things. Another ancient large artifact crate. Ancient lock. Oh, nice. Rare item found. Forsaken autobiography. Approximately 1888. 1,889 years old. This manuscript is full of small, delicate blemishes. Tiny, crinkled circles litter every page as if the paper has been stained by tears. Forsaken autobiography. Whoa. Also, if you hear lawn mowing crew in the background, I am so sorry. They are right near my house and uh, they are doing stuff. Dude, this is sick. I love this. Ah, so yeah, every single time you grab one of those, these guys go. Got it. Goodbye. Oh my gosh, guys, there's more. Oh, I see what I'm uncovering. It's what we just visited. Oh. Okay. Okay. Literally just uncovering what we legit just visited. Did it glitch? I think it glitched and we can't actually get this. Oh, we can. Okay, cool. Cool, we can get it. Uh, but we're gonna wait a moment. Wait, 
Is this one opened? Yes, yes, we opened it. Okay, so then this over here. And then there's actually stuff down below. This is so interesting, man. All right, now I'm curious. Now I have to keep it. How do I get through this? Do I need like the an upgrade? I can't get through this level, but there's something down there. That's okay. We'll just grab the Gravitino ball and we'll move on. Yep, and the Sentinels are lurking. Let's... Kind of just make it over to our ship here. We should go over here. Well, let's wait for the Sentinels to go away. And we found a good old building to be able to take a rest at. Beautiful. Now, let's uh, get back into third person. I've found I do enjoy the third person now that I have the camera a little bit further back. Interface Entity Ryan's. All right, well, let's look at this ship. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's real cool. Oh, interesting. Oh, hello there, Corvax. I want to just see what your ship is. Whoa, that sells for a million. Okay, let me know. Is the Forsaken autobiography important or is it purely for making money? Because I'm not gonna sell it right now, but if it's for making money, awesome. I'm gonna find a place with higher demand than this guy because minus 5.3% uh, yeah, but hull. I want to. I want to sell it for anything. I don't know what the gravitino balls are for. There are micro rift is created as they form an extraction of the ore, prompt to localize reality weakening. Sentinel forces will respond to stabilize any such anomaly. Can be sold at a galactic trade terminal. Okie dokie. Uh, can we switch to the starship to sell our ionized cobalt? Let's just sell it because I can always go and go back to our home planet and. Buy it. Not buy it. Get more. Let's see what their ship is. Well, this is pretty cool. It's got better damage. It's got a little bit more. I want to see. It's a million eighty. Twenty-one slots. Ours is significantly better when we actually have the slots available. Um okay. so ours is just better. Phase beam. All right, well, guys, I think that's going to be where we have to leave it off because we have been exploring quite a bit. I know we did not actually get through nearly as much as I thought we might be able to, but this stuff has led to some pretty cool things. So I think we're going to do it for the next episode because I really just like doing this. It's been very fun, um, and this has kind of opened the game up. I think we'll do these two next episode and uh, maybe do a few more. I'll do a few more of these off camera as well since we have so many. But I think that's gonna gonna do it for this episode. I hope you guys have liked it. And if you did, leave a like in real life. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, bye bye.